Hi everyone, it's Jamie Larson, and today we're gonna to be talking about pediatric pulmonology. And with me today is nurse practitioner, Tara Eastvold, and she is with Blank Children's Pulmonology. What exactly is pediatric pulmonology? We treat kids with a lot of different diseases that, that can involve the lungs. Sure. Um, asthma is probably the most common one that you know about. A lot of kids when they're younger, they get these viral illnesses and you see them have to be seen in the emergency department to just get through normal cold. Sure. Um, that's not normal. Um, and sometimes they have to be hospitalized or even need oral steroids, can stay at home, but still need those oral steroids. And a lot of times that can mean that they have asthma. Sure. Um, and we can get them where that asthma is more controlled so they can get through those illnesses much easier. How does a pulmonologist diagnose respiratory conditions in children? In our clinic, we start at age six. Mm -hmm. and we have a specialized respiratory therapist that only works with children mm -hmm. and she's amazing. Once we get to that point and have some formal pulmonary function testing, um, there are some objective data points in there that can definitively diagnose asthma. Sure. Um, otherwise, we have some other ways that we can diagnose. Um, talking about the history, mm -hmm. when symptoms occur, um, if there's family history of these kind of recurrent illnesses, asthma, allergies, eczema, things like that, can definitely make it more likely that the child will have it. Sure. And if you have one of those things, um, you're more likely to have all three of them. It's kind of like a triangle of inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, we talk about some of the medications that have been used and if they help. So we absolutely can make that diagnosis mm -hmm. prior to age six. What are the latest advancements in treating cystic fibrosis in children and how do they improve outcomes? What happens is on that cellular level, they don't create that thick, sticky mucus wow. to a build up in their lungs. Right. A lot of times and the newborn screening is also exciting because it is identifying those kids much sooner than they used to. Sometimes right. they wouldn't get identified until they're in school. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of that damage has been building up where right. thick sticky mucus is causing issues in their lungs and other systems. So we're not seeing that anymore. So it's just amazing what is going on in the cystic fibrosis world. Um, you know, and these kids never made it to adulthood. Right. right. And now um, we're predicting in the next 10 to 20 years, it will be a disease of only adults. How do respiratory conditions affect a child's overall growth and development? If you're expending more energy on breathing mm -hmm. than you need to be, we're not gonna see them growing appropriately right. like they are. So that's a big thing. We watch the growth and development. Um, a lot of babies we'll see um, have oxygen needs and um, they don't, their muscles can't develop, they don't follow their growth curves, mm -hmm. they just can't gain weight because they're expending so much more energy. Right. So we have tests that we send babies home with to check and see how they're oxygenating to make sure that they are on enough oxygen or if they're not on oxygen, do they need to be? We wanna make sure everybody's lungs are healthy so that the rest of their bodies can be healthy with them. What advice do you have for parents of children with respiratory conditions? And education, yep. I think this is half of our visits when we see people is education on what symptoms we're looking for. Are you comfortable to know what to do? Sure. Um, and if, if you feel like, we try to always go over, these are the symptoms that would necessitate an escalation in therapy. Sure. Or if you're seeing these, we want to know about it. Yep. Um, so if you do have a child with asthma, and you know, you're know you seeing symptoms that just, you're just this doesn't seem right to yep. me, always reach out and contact us or your primary care provider. You know, is there anything else we can be doing? But we are here to help and get those kids back on track. How does your Blink Children's team uh, collaborate with primary care providers here in Fort Dodge? We have a really great relationship with the providers here. If they have any special like, hey, I, I wanna get this person in a little bit sooner. Sure. They call us directly. We will get those kids accommodated much quicker. Let's talk to your, your pediatrician or your primary care provider. And if you have concerns and you know just don't think something is right, and um, certainly if you feel like you need to see a pulmonary specialist, reach out, that's mm -hmm. what we're here for.